as a serial starter of all the things, I've realised that I have such a huge pile of projects that are in the middle of. And normally I don't set myself the task of you have to finish something before you start something new, but things are getting rather out of control and I feel like I need to do something about this. So today I've decided it is time to get organised, to sort out all of these works in progress, decide what I'm going to do with them and get them under control. So from looking through what I've got here, I can see that there are a few main reasons why I have stopped working on these projects. So I think it's useful, if you've got a pile of half-made things, I think it's useful to go through it and just think about the reasons why you stopped. Because I think by focusing on that, it's going to help me to decide what to do next. So one of the reasons is that I fell out of love with the project. And that's the case for these large hexagon flowers. This is one of the first EPV projects I ever started. And I know that these aren't just all of them. I know I have some already stitched together with some cream hexagons around the edge. But I didn't like this size of hexagon. It felt too big in my hands. I loved the fabrics, but it, it was just uncomfortable. And I just fell out of love with the project. It was going to be a quilt but it was uncomfortable in my hands. And so I decided to abandon this project, but I need to think, what am I going to do with it? So another project that I really do love is quite a recent one. It is the Jane Austen mini quilt. And the reason why I stopped doing this one, well, there are two reasons, a bit of decision paralysis. So I don't know whether to keep it as it is, I had kind of decided to add more diamonds to it, but I don't know whether I want it to be a mini quilt or whether I want it to be a cushion. So I've kind of halted on that one. So it's decision paralysis with this. So I need to give it some thought and see if I can actually decide what to do with it. Okay, so this next one is quite big, and but it should be a lot bigger. It is my Alexandria quilt. This is an EPP pattern by Tales of Cloth. And I really like the fabrics that I've chosen, but I've just fallen out of love with it, to be honest. Again, the pieces are quite big for my hands. I don't find that the most comfortable. And I actually do prefer doing EPP with Hexiform rather than paper these days. It's much easier on my hands. And this is a paper piece project. I could go and buy all of the Hexiform pieces if I wanted to, but I just don't have the motivation to make this into the big quilt that it should be which is a real shame because it is a lovely design, but I have to be honest with myself and say I just don't have the motivation for this one. But I do like what I've created so far and I don't want that to go to waste. So I have an idea for how to turn this into something else. So it won't be a quilt, but something else. So keep watching and we will tackle that later in the video. So one of the reasons for trying to get this situation under control is because I do have a few new ideas of things that I want to work on and I don't normally say to myself you've got to finish something to start something new but these are starting to play on my mind a little bit and weigh me down so I think if I free up some space in my head with finishing some of these I'll feel a lot better but also I do have as I mentioned have a lot of other crafts in the works because I am a multi-crafter at heart I've always done different types of crafts and different types of sewing and I want to start new things with that as well. For me I find it really important to work on what I feel like working on and recently I've been looking at the classes that are on Skillshare and I've been taking some classes and making some things from there. I've been interested in boro stitching as it's a more relaxed and free style of stitching to what I typically do so I've been taking the boro stitching basics sewing and upcycle pouch class by Casey Gallagher Newman. Her style of teaching is so interesting and the class is really easy to follow. I love what I'm making and it's taught me to be free and more intuitive with my stitching. 
Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, with thousands of classes on subjects from sewing to knitting, crochet to watercolours and so much more. They also have learning paths in place, like this one here for knitting. Learning paths help you progress as each lesson builds on the one previously to move your skills forward. If you're interested in seeing what Skillshare has to offer, then the first 500 people to sign up using the link in the description box of this video will get a one month trial of Skillshare for free. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So let's take a look at the other projects. This one was a mini quilt I did last year on Patreon and I just didn't finish it because I wasn't sure how I wanted to finish it whether I was going to back it or put it in a frame, but I think I know what I'm going to do now. So this one will be a quick one to tick off the list. Now here are my patchwork pieces that have been embroidered with spring flowers. And this was something I was doing quite a few years ago now. And I love this project, it's really close to my heart, but I didn't continue with it because I wasn't sure which direction I wanted it to go in. I had some requests for patterns and kits and I, it wasn't something I was able to do at the time. I think this is going to be something for 2025. So I'm going to put that to one side for now. Now this is the patchwork of the Crosses quilt kit that I was doing as a block of the month with Sew and Quilt. I was doing this in 2020 and I adore this quilt. This is not something that I want to finish quickly. I want to make the full quilt. Now, I haven't worked on it for so long, but I'm going to put it to one side because I know I'm going to revisit this in the future and I have everything I need. So that is definitely one to keep hold of until I feel like working on it again. So this next quilt is a finished quilt top. Well, it just needs borders, but I love this quilt. It's full of liberty, it's granny square blocks and I could finish this really quickly. But well, I think I'll set this one aside for another video and dedicate a whole video to finishing this quilt because then I can show you how I quilt it and how I layer up the backing and the wadding. So we'll save that one for a future video. Now this next project is another block of the month from Sew and Quilt and it was last year's Basket and Blossoms quilt, which I absolutely love. I was so excited to start this one, but I quickly realised that I wasn't going to be able to keep up with it because there was too much EPP in it for me because I do have to do a lot of sewing for my work and I just didn't have the time to keep up with this but I really want to make the quilt. So what I've done is adapted the pattern and I'm machine piecing the baskets but then doing everything else as was intended. So I'm going to applique them to the background fabric by hand, I'm going to EPP the flowers by hand and I've just adapted it a little bit to make it more manageable for me. So I mentioned in my previous video about the butterfly version of the hexagon storage basket. So I really should just get that done. I have things cut out. I just need to cut the lining out and stitch it together. But I think just because it's going to take a bit of brain power, I just lost momentum on that one, but I'll just put it to one side and see if it gets done. <laughs> and then I have three machine sewing projects. The first one is the Farmer's Wife 1930s quilt and I just did some blocks. I really just wanted to improve my machine piecing at the time and I just did some blocks for this. However, I just don't have the motivation to make the whole quilt anymore. I have lots of lovely fabrics and I might end up parting with those if I decide that I'm just not going to do it anymore. The feeling of wanting to do this has just left me, so I need to think of something to do with these blocks. So I just have four, so that could make a nice simple cushion cover. Then the Happy Flower Quilt, another book, and another quilt that I really wanted to make because I wanted to improve my machine piecing. And I did not only one block, but I think there are two more blocks for this one. And I'm not sure about this, I wasn't, enjoying it. As you know, machine piecing isn't my favourite. Um, so yeah, I just need to think about this. So that's going on the think about it pile, but probably abandoning it pile, to be honest. But maybe in the future. And then the last machine piecing project was 
a Lori Holt project that's all crumpled. There is it, but it is the my happy place quilt, and I did the sewing machine. Please excuse the wrinkles. I did the sewing machine and I have all of the templates for the rest of the blocks. And again, I've just lost the motivation on that one, but it doesn't mean that I won't come back to that one in the future. And I do really like that design. The reason why I stopped with the My Happy Place one was because I was trying to use fabrics just from my stash and I know I just didn't have enough. And uh, that was what has stopped me with this project, if I'm honest. I did buy some Laurie Holt fabrics, but I couldn't buy all of the fabrics that it says that you need. So I was trying to pull things from my stash, but they weren't right or I didn't have enough because my stash, especially of fabrics in this kind of style, are mostly just scraps, just little tiny pieces. So that might be an abandoned project as well. I don't know. It seems a shame, but maybe there's something that I can do with this or maybe I can make a smaller version of it. Maybe I don't need to make the whole huge quilt because it is big. Maybe I can put some small, some of the blocks that I like the best around the sewing machine and have it as a wall hanging in this sewing room. So there's a new plan for that one. And finally, my Hexagon Quilt As You Go project, my Happy Memories quilt, which I'm very happy to just keep as a work in progress. I never want this one to end. I love it that much. So now I feel like I have a plan and I know what I'm doing. Let's finish some projects. So I'm starting with the Alexandria quilt and I just had a few shapes to stitch onto it to sort of complete the shape that it is in. Once I'd done that, I gave it a really good press and then it was time to remove the papers. I gave it a really good press and I pressed the outer seam allowances open and then I layered it up. I had a scrap of wadding, perfect size for this, and some backing fabric and I laid it up to a quilt sandwich and pinned it in place. Then I took it to the sewing machine and just did some really simple quilting lines in hexagonal shapes and if you haven't guessed already it's going to become a hexagonal cushion so now I'm making the envelope back to go on to it.
where are we up to then? Well, the Alexandria quilt has now become a cushion, a really nice hexagonal cushion, and that turned out quite well. I'm really pleased with it, and it's nice to think that that project is done now and it can free up some space in my brain. The other thing that I'm just working on now is making the farmer's wife quilt blocks into little zip pouches. So I've done one and I'm just about to do the next one. So as well as working on those few projects and getting them ticked off the list, I've moved six projects to a long-term whips list and I'm happy with that. They're, they can stay on that long-term list for the foreseeable future and I know that I feel like I have the motivation to work on them or I will do if even if it's not immediately at some stage soon I will want to work on them. So I'm happy with six long-term whips on that list. So to make the little pouch I luckily had a zip that was just the right width for the quilt block so I decided to put one block on the front and one block on the back and I just made some lining squares exactly the same size and then stitched it together. pouches are finished and that is another item ticked off the list and yeah that's two finished things for today six things moved to a long-term list that I'm not going to worry about right now a plan for the Liberty granny square quilt to make a video about that so just a few other things to think about so I think there's going to have to be a part two to this video where I will work on a few more of the things that I've got left and show you what I'm going to do with them and how I'm going to finish them up so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you liked seeing all the things that I had in the works and how I've decided to move forward with them, whether it is to stick to the intentional plan at the beginning or whether it is to change direction and finish it in a different way. And I hope that if you've got some works in progress that you're not sure what to do with or if you've fallen out of love with something or decided you don't want to carry on, that this video has given you an idea that you can actually make something from that project and the time you've spent already isn't wasted so thank you so much for being here thank you so much to those of you who are supporting me on patreon it absolutely means the world and I hope you have a wonderful couple of weeks and I'll see you really soon take care bye bye